new note on Dracula, third. Not a book that I like by Bram Stoker, but still um, important and part of my life, as I kept saying in the previous uh, couple of notes. Um, it was part of my job to my job to talk about the count, the vampire count, and his um, supposedly real life correspondent, uh, Vladimir Pale. Indeed, there are some stories which uh, fascinate one, and the real life inspiration, if correct, and we don't know the extent to which Bram Stoker was inspired by these. Uh, some folklore tales, some uh, some uh, uh, historical, perhaps facts. I mean, they're recorded in some chronicles. Some of them may have been exaggerations. But uh, considering the, the 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 name of the real man. Inspired uh, myth of Dracula, maybe, I mean, uh, perhaps uh, to uh, an important degree. Vlad the Impaler, this is a man who impaled people. He killed them um, uh, by placing them on top of a big stick and pulling them down. Uh, cruel death. Now, it was um, in books about the Baylor, about Dracula, the myth, the, 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 the correspondence between them, that they try and put the character into perspective. By the way, one of the, one of the authors who was considered a uh, an authority on the subject was a man called Florescu. Uh, um, John Florescu, uh, Bradu Florescu Sr. He has a son who is not such a likable person here. Uh, uh, but let me not say where he works. He works in a prominent position in the the business world of today, but let's just leave it at this. Uh, Forest is a, a common name, so if I don't really point it out, uh, it will, it can be for best to be honest with you. Um, so, uh, they try and insist on the fact that, well, yes, he, it sounds cruel, but these were the times. Uh, the torture was common. Uh, people didn't think much about killing their enemies on the battlefield and elsewhere. But the stories with uh, Vlad the Impaler were something to attract the attention. And visitors to these parts, uh, some of them uh, enjoy them. They, they come today for the Halloween and other occasions to go to the Dracula Vlad Impaler uh, supposedly castle. I'm thinking of one uh, with, uh, with uh, envoys. Uh, they say that he uh, welcomed some uh, ambassadors and some of them kept their head covering on the head while they were talking to the uh, ruling prince of Vlad Tepes. And he didn't like that, even if, when asked, they said, this is our custom, our habit, and I'm thinking Hamid Karzai, uh, um, former president of Afghanistan, who had that special uh, fur or astronaut or whatever hat, which he kept during uh, during uh, meetings, and then so had, so is the uh, president of South Sudan, uh, 
the one of Nigeria who is saying that his wife belongs to the kitchen and caused an uproar with that in, on, during his vis visit to Germany, I think. But Vlade Imperio was uh, no uh, libertarian and he didn't like that and he said, ah, this is a habit of yours? Okay, I'll reinforce it. So he had his uh, men, his entourage, uh, <laughs> nails in the head of these, um, in the head of these people <laughs> to have their <coughs> head covering or head or whatever <coughs> fixed on it. Uh, this is one of the hunting dogs of Dracula, by the way. If you hear, uh, I had him uh, produce special sound effects here. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's an old dog who's uh, uh, coughing. 